Hey gang, aloha kakayaka means good morning to you and my favorite thing I love to eat in the morning sometimes because it's so expensive, poi, kalo, it's poi. Mm. To me, it's like the Hawaiian version of yogurt. Adds so much great benefits and it's so good for your overall health. So sometimes grabbing for that shake or that fruit, grab for this vegetable, poi. It's so good and so nutrition. And it was so funny the other day, this man, I think it was in the Big Island or Kauai, he found in his taro patch a kalo that weighs 50 pounds and he weighed it and they think it's going to be on the guinness world record 50 pounds and along the side of it was attached was the keiki the kids of the taro so that also weighed that and it was put over like a hundred pounds so boy pounder i remember when i first started looking my venture out to um, japan i decided to bring this for the dogs, Koi Cookie. And there was this one company that was making and I told them about it and you know what? It made a lot of sense. And I asked my friend who is a local boy out here who became very, very um, famous in the sumo world, Akebono Taro. Taro, Taro. And so I said, can you be my spokesman for my taro cookie for dogs. So that was the start of my thousand and one ideas on really creating tokajur. And it happened to happen. I mean, even my gate, it has that meaning. It's like you create something because there is that reason for a why. And maybe at that time, the why was not there. Why? Because you have to go through the whole entire process because you're not going to just get it on a silver platter. You have to work for it. You have to work from it from the ground up. And that's why I'm focusing on March is to really help people understand that these things call life's purpose it does exist you know some people who, who always have a dream or desire this is the moment this is the time to really seek in and find that it could just be anything it could just be a hobby or it could just be a passion my passion with the american staffordshire terrier you know and that line of sierra staff i have it embedded into my gate as my protector all over my house because I knew that it symbolized something. What it was at that time, over 23 years ago? Yeah. Is it 24? Anyways, you know, and for me to even find this place, it was over 200 houses I had to look through. So I told my real estate agent, it's okay. When I find it, I'll let you know. It's somewhere here. It's just the energy that I have to feel it. You know, you just have to feel it. And that's why it's so important. It's like, um, like I mentioned on my last live, live YouTube video, where I put in a challenge for 30 days straight that I was gonna make a video with some kind of content that could help someone and how to cope with it, how to really see that it's okay to have those feelings and those emotions and how to really find the tools to improve it, to fix it and to change it. And so that challenge was really, really fun because it really made me think what I go through. And if I go through this, I'm sure there could be a hundred or thousand other more millions of people that goes through this every day because it's the things that we go through and we hold back and that's how we have like mental health problems especially 
now with COVID and what's going on and especially the war, so-called war, is it war? I don't know. People say it's not war. People say it is war. People say it's a lot of things. But, you know, it's, I see it as the destruction of humanity and the uprising of people consciousness, which I'm going to talk about that in the next video about consciousness because there's three different steps of consciousness that we have in our life. We have a consciousness of what's going on, right? I can hear the bird chirping, but I can go into my subconscious mind and say, and get only in tune with the bird and start to think about things. Where we activate the cheetah mind, which is the monkey mind. And then we go to the next sense, which is a higher sense of consciousness. And that's when you get in touch with the source of how to really bring everything and manifest it is really putting your love, your dream, and your purpose, which is in Japanese you call it ikigai. And so all of this are all formulated in such a beautiful structure that really it was not even taught in school. It was really something that you needed to go and seek out and find, and it will find you. And so that's literally what happened to me. You know, it found me of where I am. And look at this. It's like this year is going to be 20 years of me saying I had enough of this BS. You know, it's like, you think you're in love, right? The first set, you think you're in love, but, but you didn't really find yourself first to think and what your love and your value and your worth is in life. Because you just thought, okay, I gotta hurry up and get married. Because for me, I was 29 years old and everybody wants to hurry up and get married, you know? And especially dealing in Japan where they see it as if you're over 25 years old, they call it Ura no Kori no Christmas Keiku, which is like, they, they have all these sayings. And so, and so for me is, it's, it's was really of what society kind of wanted me to do in a way. I was very, very blessed of, you know, the places I experienced to work the magnitude of people, the teachers, the mentors, the, you know, people of my surrounding was all about, and I learned, you know, while everybody was partying at Bobby McGee's or Point After at the discotheque, yeah, I go when it's beach night with my sleeper, you know, but other than that, I, I really kind of focus that there is something else bigger. And I will remember, and I remember that person's name, Shuto-san, and he'll be at point after this Japanese rich man. And that's when it was really, really interesting because I knew exactly what they are all talking about. And so it's funny when you understand something that a different sequel of level of people you know talking and and saying things in a certain section like the VIP room or a certain club or a certain um, you know like a country club or certain places people talk about their own desire and putting things together and so it's the same thing we, we need to do as an individual right we need to surround ourselves on what kind of energy you want you want it to be. So I soaked myself totally into the Japanese world where people was, and that was a good thing I did because that was during the bubble days. And so during the bubble days, it was like the Japanese was just owning things from left to right and I was at the right place at the right time in my 20s and I went all around the world and I went on business trips and I went sitting in like buying hotels with the owner
owner. You know, I was right there as an interpreter and I'm watching how people react because he didn't really know what people what was going on. And that's what happened at the end of the day with that company. You know, I left, I felt something like, well, oh, okay. And the way I left was very interesting because I went to the next level. And during that time, you see how your body reacts is really the points of where you're, you're gonna start to have a negative impact. And for me, it took two car accidents to finally come back home and say, you did good. Because you always wanna make sure that you wanna do the next thing, the next thing. But if you keep on burning yourself out and not trying a different journey, you kind of like, forgot what was life was all about because there is certain different types of journey in your life when you have a child or when you you know grow up and you you know from that different stages of life and that's where all these awareness starts to kind of dissipate somewhere in between because we get this negative um, surroundings sometimes and it's not like we ask for it or it just happened it just happens and maybe we needed to experience that we need to understand that energy because if you don't understand that energy how are you going to go to the next energy i always tell people so don't ever self-doubt yourself that why you was an alcoholic or why you was taking drugs or why you was potting why you was abcdft why you committed a crime why you went through a whole bunch of stuff the, the list is endless but sometimes people don't see that and they continue that. That's why their continuation, you see people, you know, how many times they go to jail. They rap cheat is unbelievable. Or how much time they get out of jail and they still do another thing in a different form, right? Lying, deceiving, cheating, whatever. I, I, you know what, I swear to God, I can tell you that every aspect that you see in life whether they're wearing a tie or whether they are on the surgery table or whether they are making our lawmakers straight across the board, there is this, this thing called corruption and people just sell out of what should be for the people, well-being, they kind of sell themselves out. I know a lot of people I, because it's just too much of a hassle to think it this way. This way is an easier way that I can get if I just give something, you know, like a political gain. Or if they get to have to belong to that certain private club, which is huge out in LA. I mean, Jesus. Woo. Many different kind of people with many different kind of in, and that's the thing about it is this and it's funny because there's so many different clicks of what's going on there but it's so small because everybody knows everybody in a way or two and so you know it's and if you go there with an open eye you get to feel it much deeper than what it is so combining of all these experiences that I literally have since I was in my 20s and you know realizing that this could be a different journey for me and I took that step and that step took me to a next step and that step took me to this step where I am in my 50s where I can say I took a lot of steps to get to this journey of what is really important is great to dream but in that dream there are certain kind of details that you need to learn and you need to experience because there's all different types of people in this world who will sell you out who will pull the rug underneath you or there could be a simple thing called jealousy because they're so frustrated that they have to go out and steal other people's ideas, things, life, 
the list goes on. And then you have the wannabes who copycat cats a lot of these things. You know, I mean, you see it right now, what's going on with, you know, you see it every day in the news about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. You see, Kanye keeps on finding this news of people that he, and they love it because, hey, why not? Right? It's an opportunity because sometimes when there's opportunity, these opportunists comes in and go in. And so there is all different types of what happens in life. What is right, what is wrong. You're the only judge to it. And stay strong to your conviction because if you don't stay strong to your conviction, literally you're gonna have two feet in two different boat and guess what, you're gonna split your ass in half. And that's when you don't know where to go, roll forward in your life because you know, it's split in this way and that way direction and there's two different kind it's literally two different kind of energy and that's where your mindset will not be focused you need to stay focused and find out exactly who you are what you are and what you're going to be for your forever journey because that is the key of life if you can't find yourself then guess what? You're just rolling, 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 and mowing down the road, and wondering, and wishing, what could have, would have. Just take that leap of faith, and who knows what, what will happen. You never know what will happen. I mean, literally, I can say that, I mean, Literally, it's, it comes to a point where I have to say, it's really creepy and gross already, too, so can you please stop it? And it's funny because these people in LA really still want to hold on to me because she, for the first time, I said, listen, I gave you everything, it's done, and we just need to have it, you know? And I said, it's really something that you guys went to the next level and attacked me personally about this when it had zero nothing to do with me but they had to do that because why they knew that i had the key of information so that's why sometimes when you have too much it could go back against you See, look what's happening with Fauci and the vaccine and all these things that's happening, you know? Everybody was on the forefront two years ago on stage saying this and that. I was like, okay, March 3rd, I'm back home to do what I need to do. And this is what I did. I went dig and dig and dig and make sure. And, I, and you know, two years later, I'm enjoying butterflies and all of this beautiful surroundings because it really made me understand a lot and that's how permaculture philosophy as well as these other tools where you can see how the energy the five energy the five elements of life really consists all of that in our body one billion percent and that activate us who we are each and every day so I can't wait to give you guys more information and it's going to be a, a lot more live inside our Coco Jar Clubhouse where you can be members. There's going to be a whole bunch of things in our library and of course courses, seminars and free webinars. So you guys stay tuned because it's a whole bunch of aloha, a whole bunch of love that I really went through and it was my honor and it was my pleasure because I learned so much. I learned so much because they conditioned me and how to do business, how to do international alliance of working with different people around the world along with creating a product and services and in 
between going through a divorce, going through many different kind of obstacles in life because that's part of life that we have to embrace, enjoy, and don't fall back. Take it, believe it, and really enjoy your life. So you stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my social media. You take care and most of all, stay safe and aloha.